This is Suzanne in France, property reference number CIF 001727. It's a beautiful Maison de Maître style house in a village with amenities. A nice English country cottage garden to the front. Well, that style at least. And then looking round at the front of the property, it's within a couple of steps to the local amenities. You've got a little supermarket, chemist, butchers, vets and a hairdressers I think from memory as well. Windows have all been changed, double glazed throughout with roller shutters apart from on the front door here with wooden shutters. Lovely feature of these doors is that there is opening tops, the glass at the top opens to let the air through into a lovely entrance hall Mouldings on the ceiling. You've got double doors there to close off the section with the staircase if you wish. Doors out to the back as well. These are always very symmetrical houses, nice high ceilings and very light. Uh, often the rooms are double aspect. Straight into the lounge with the wood burner. Again, nice coving. You've got a ceiling rose wood panelled walls and two windows opening out over the rear. So although you're in the village, when you get to the back of the house, you could be in the middle of the countryside. The views are all over the surrounding countryside. You've then got double doors going through into another living room. The current owners use it as a music room. Again, some wood panelling, wood floor, Nice high ceiling and two windows and ornate ceiling. Back out and across the hallway. This is the dining room. Current owners have done a bit of B&B &B from the property. So this is the dining room they use for guests. You've got, again, a nice ornate ceiling. Two cupboards built in either side of the fireplace. Again, two windows. So a nice, light, airy room. Door then going through into the kitchen kitchen breakfast room, two windows out to the rear and mainly freestanding furniture in this kitchen. Space and plumbing there for a washing machine, space for a range style cooker, you've got a nice ceramic sink with mixer tap. So looking out of the outbuilding, the studio that comes with the property, which could equally be a granny annex or a jeet, and that's the view to the back. It's a little lane, access lane, that goes along the back, so you could bring a car in there if you wish. Up now onto the first floor landing. Stairs, as you can see, to the second floor. So the first of the rooms is divided into study and then a storage room. And again, that view over the countryside at the back. A storage room and you have got the flue going up through that room from the wood banner. Across the landing and into a large double room to the front of the house and with an ornamental fireplace. None of these are in use at the moment other than the wood burner on the ground floor. Again, nice and light, two windows. That's one of the B&B rooms when the vendors are letting it. Then you've got the family bathroom. 
So you have a shower, macerator toilet, nice bath and hand basin. Back out onto the landing. Another massive bedroom with two windows again. Nice coving and ornamental fireplace. It's a view out over the front garden into the village. I'll have a look back around the bedroom. Toilet here on the landing. And then you go through first the ensuite bathroom or shower room, I should say. Again, this is a letting room as and when the vendors wish to do B&B. &B. And then into a double bedroom. View out to the rear. And then back through the ensuite shower room. Up then to the second floor landing. We have a bedroom. Large loft space with plenty of space and ceiling height to create more bedrooms or additional living accommodation. And then you have another studio. With a sink the view out the back and onto the building at the back and now into it so it's got electrics it has been renovated fairly recent roof and you have two rooms plenty of light and again high ceilings Let's so look at the back of the house and the positioning of that uh, studio, which could, of course, be renovated to make an annex or a granny, uh, so a granny annex or a sheet. An enclosed area here for the chickens. Outside now, this is the front garden. So you've got an access from round in the back garden to come round to the front. You've got a graveled area, seating. Nice walled garden. You've got wrought iron railings and door fall at the front. Double wrought iron gates if you did want to use them to bring a car in. You would have to adapt the garden at the front to a degree. Mm -hmm. 
and this is the walk back round and another look at the front of the property. If you'd like any more details about it, please head across to the website suzanneinfrance.com. Thank you.